What's up, guys? Rich Gamer 997 here. Today we are back on LMAB the Show 22. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play the Show 22. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for subscribing. And welcome in everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB the show brings you the National League Championship Series. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And drop a like. Along with my partner Chris Singleton. I'm so John YouTube Shum. algorithm can expose my baseball yeah, channel to other people out there game one, in the YouTube world. Going up against the Dodgers. Yeah, you need a Dodgers is always a good team, so you can't, one way to out you know, can't take them lightly. First pitch coming you know, <laughs> Woodruff. Woodruff. Just about set. And on the hill, the big righty, Brandon Woodruff. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off. Yeah, he didn't get the win in his first start him, in the last the series. The and the they never gave him any run support. And up to the plate, so the reliever spin. came in and got the win. No score here in the second. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, and a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job mm -hmm. there stepping up to the challenge. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Righty delivers. That's out to center field. O'Neill makes the play. Runner tagging for third. Swanson with a relay throw, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. And now it's Gavin Lux. We talk about guys with good speed. Why the hell does it seem like LA is just batting forever? For just a second, Chris. <laughs> it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Line and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low. Back here at the ballpark. And Nobody is hitting any pop up balls. Why? For anything more, this guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon oh, when he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. Just that slider. His teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. This to third. They are with the throw over to first. I just don't understand how am I so late on that pitch. This is weird. Welcome back. Here's a big power threat. Richard O'Neill. But why to kick the pitch? That one missed. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And it's found a way. He's been pitching and now I'm way too early on that slider. Adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Oh. Next offering is foul back. And the right hander deals. <laughs> Early on that slider again. Get yours right here, huh? Drive it up there. That Not that time. Center field. And out of here. <laughs> Not that time. That's what the fans came to see. And they're chipping away. It's 2-1. That one was 
a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake mm, like that. Care. Right there, he made him pay. <clears throat> So nobody attempt to pick that ball up. Smoky bad. For the fourth time tonight. Yeah, gonna put up gonna be a fight with LA in this series. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. O'Neal under this one. Brings it in. And that ends the inning. One left for LA as the lead remains 3-1. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Richard O'Neill. No Bueller back to work. He Ooh. swings and misses at the first pitch. I hesitated on the Dodgers bullpen with some action. Seth Lugo preparing to come on if needed. Rodriguez getting cranked up as well. On the ground, right side. Uh, Muncie sends it to curve first. Outside. And one away in the bottom of the seven. He ain't made the mistake of throwing Run another curve up one. again. Chris Taylor down. One for two. Chris Taylor. Oh, oh wow. It's the top of the ninth already. He's Holy shit. They really the wanted the Dodgers to win this one, one, boy. And there are two down. Because I'm the only one who so drove in a run that was scored. The whole team. I like I wanted to see how much hits the whole team got because it's ridiculous. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Coming home. He scores. It's three two. Just a There's two outs, right and get any air don't know who's coming out. That ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down. Now it's Hunter Renford. Hunter Renford is over three. Over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Runner on the goal. Hammered on the line. Base hit. O'Neal rounds third. Headed for the plate. He scores, and the Brewers even it up. It's three all. Hunter. Way to go, Hunter. I was expecting you were going to either hit the ball just to someone and get out, but you drove it in the gap. That's what's go. You really want to win this World Series. He'll feel real good about that one. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. So up next. But it could go either way, so. He is well, you never athlete. know. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. First offering misses the mark. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Oh. Next offering is foul. Come on. Nicely. To the right side. Uh, to just first. bounced on the floor. The ground <laughs> said the floor. <laughs> and now it's Mookie, and Mookie Bats. Bats. All tied up and here in extra innings. This to center field. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Stand there with the so ball like he had to take there. a shit. Richard O'Neill. He's already homered here in this one. Oh. Off. Too early on the slider. Kicks and fires. Ah. Foul ball. Trying to elevate that high ball. Base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 
Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And a pitch. On the Damn it, I hit it right to him. Shit. And there are two outs. <sighs> yeah, we fight. New inning getting started. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Bomber deals. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Uh, we won. Holy shit. <laughs> Wonder who the the heroes are. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Once again, Woodruff doesn't get a win. Three innings. Will Smith, two for seven home run. RBI two runs. Mookie Betts, one for six. Max Muncy, two for six. Chris Taylor, one for five with an RBI and a Yelich, three for seven with a home run and three RBIs, two runs. Two for six, a home run, two RBIs, two runs. Reyes is over four with a run. Hunter Renford one for six with two and an RBI. A two bag and an RBI. NLCS Championship Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby, and a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect the home side taking care of business in game one, but this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games, or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. Hooray. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. <laughs> Postseason. About to get started here, getting the nod in this one, Corbin Burns. Yeah, Bogey had the swing and miss stuff working last time out, had 10 punch outs, so much fun to watch. That's if you're on the defensive side, not as a hitter. We'll see today if he can bring the same type of result. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. We go to the uh, final. scored again. Two. It's the two Dodgers top Woodruff gave up one run, one hit. So he gave up a home run. Back here in Milwaukee, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's some real power at the plate. Richard O'Neill. Oh, baby, square it up. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. They have a rip like 
man, here we go. That one ripped. Oh. Uh, one down. Damn it. Richard O'Neill. Oh, LA is spanking us. Ah, uh, popped it up. Betts drifts towards it. Makes the catch. Two down. One down. And up next for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. One for three. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Grabs it right up against the wall. Forced to cover a lot of ground to make the play over there, Chris. That cast shows us what a challenge it was just to get to that ball. Yeah, he covered more than 110 feet before hauling that thing in on the run and just showing good instincts off the bat, man. And he took a great route to get there in time. That's pretty special. <laughs> Here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Now the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Richard O'Neill. the pitch check swing tried to hold up now an appeal to first and he held up kicks and deals that one hammered center field that's got a chance uh, damn So now it's the four hole hitter, Richard O'Neill. Good contact guy, good defender. Out towards right center, that's well struck. And it's off the wall. One run is in. Uh, he's hosed. And he's in there. Oh, uh, he made it. Oh, yeah. I thought he was out. Spin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Man at second here with two away. Next for the Brewers, Glaber Torres. And a pitch. And a swing mm. and a miss. Down on strikes. Good job at that. Glaber Torres. Back here at American Family Field. And stepping in is the speedy Chris, Chris Taylor. Taylor. And that one hammered. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Winning never gets old, but it's also important to come out and play with some level of a fear. Woodruff took an L. Out the best, knowing that if I don't bring it today, we could lose. And nobody likes to lose, especially when you work this hard to play at this level. Texas. Oh, no, no. That last night, Texas. What was wrong with my brain? LA. Festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this.
Oh, I think I'm out of food. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. Coming to you live from Southern California, MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. Southern California. Series. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic game three, Chris. Well, when a team starts a series on the road and comes away with a split in the first two games, they've essentially taken over home field advantage. So the last thing these guys want to do now is give it right back by dropping this one. And these fans know that just as much as the players. And the atmosphere here is electric. And this figures to be about as intense as postseason baseball gets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Today's Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer. Very dominant his last time out. Picked up the win. Only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. And at first, and now the big time power threat, Richard O'Neill. Although he consistently hits the ball hard. His exit velocity and barrel rate near the tops in the league. On the ground at first. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Roll over on that friggin' pitch. Chris Taylor now. Chris Taylor. Dodger Stadium. In the air, center field. O'Neill settles under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Here's Mookie Betts, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And that one in the air, center field. O'Neill under it and makes the grab. And that is that. I don't know why so he's picking his leg up. <laughs> One out, base is empty. Richard O'Neill up now for the Brewers. <laughs> and first offering is cut off. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Bellinger settles yeah, underneath it. Yeah, got all up underneath that it's ball. The squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Richard O'Neill up now for the Brewers. Good contact guy, good defender. And that oh, was like motherfucker. Judge off of first with two away. Slow ground ball to the right side. Damn it. He takes it himself to Chasing the Chasing every and fucking thing. So one run Runner in scoring position. No outs. Now it's the power speed combo. Richard O'Neill. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Here we go. Next offering is down low. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Laser! Base hit! Here comes the judge around third. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Three to two. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Renfro. Pickoff moved to second, and he dives back in safely. No outs, runner on second. And 
Ah, uh, shit. Well, Renfro didn't even hit that ball that hard, you dick. Dodgers won again. Oh, now we're down 2 1 in the fucking series. It's like your team is falling apart, nobody's putting up shit. That's why they got me sitting in this empty clubhouse by myself. Like, where the hell everybody else went? <laughs> Neil is living in a clubhouse. While everybody else went home. I gotta tie this year as well. Deep into that ball game, eight plus innings, didn't get the win, couldn't get enough run support, but you shake that off, you come out to the win 120 some games and get it through for it. And knocked out by the Dodgers. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Bueller looked to first. Oh, come on. So it's not the controller. This shit is in the, is in the game. It's the fucking game. You try to go back and he doesn't. You're pushing the stick for him to go back. And he doesn't move. He stands there. So this shit is in the game. I, all this time I was thinking it was my controller that he, it was doing that. But it's in the game. It's the game messing up. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. Didn't quite have All these years I've been playing this game, I thought that it was all my controllers are bad. Because every time you push the stick back from to go back to first base, after you move off, he just stands there and don't move. But it's in the game. Chris Taylor. The line of the pitch. In the center. O'Neal should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. And now it's going to be Richard O'Neill. And he's already singled in this game. Like all the other games that uh, come up, there's a guy on. Now there's nobody on. Looking back at the opportunities that you missed in the previous game and make sure that you don't miss them in this one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Uh, the wall wow. It's like when Neil done lost all his fucking power, man. One down. And and LA down scored again. So Will obviously Smith, this game is one. programmed for us one to lose the World Series. To and lose the, the championship and not make it to the fucking it. World Series. Because the whole team is playing like Looks shit. Nobody gets on base or nothing. Taylor down. Now fly ball to right center. O'Neal moving to his left. Makes the play and it's out number three. Next for Milwaukee. You win 129 games. It was the play. Shit. But it's not playing. It's fucking... The team is not doing anything. In there, like before, over. like the team would put up runs. The team is not bases. putting up any runs. Looking to get the tying run on base. That to right. That's in position. Fuck. He <laughs> can't even hit a ball out of the fucking park anymore. Like the power to hit a home run is gone now and shit. 
we lost again. Yeah, it was bullshit. Like, San Diego Studios and program this fucking game against you. Like, you can't win a World Series and you have the best fucking team. Like, all the years I played this game, I think the only time I win World Series is when I play as a pitcher. I've never won a World Series as a player as a batter. Shit is trash, yo. They need to just balance the fucking game. It's trash. Don't program one fucking team to win. There's no way LA has all these fucking pitches. We won 123 games compared to their fucking 102. And we're losing to them. By fucking two runs. Like, what kind of shit is that? You can't put up two fucking runs? A team that won 123 fucking games? We welcome you to Los Angeles. MLB the show. It's bullshit. The National League Championship. Just about ready to go. And getting to start, Joe Musgrove. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Just a four-inning start his last time out. He took the loss. They're looking for more out of this guy today. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. And Corbin Burns is on the mound. Like, if we lose this fucking championship, I'm just not even going to upload this video. Yo, that's bullshit, man. Oh, he moved. Oh, he left. Oh, I'm about to say. Like, all of a sudden, we're hitting the balls, and the balls ain't going anywhere. It's just crazy. To see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch that ball went so fucking high, I didn't think it was gonna leave. You're ready to pull the trigger. Yeah, they lead three to one. Really I thought it was two to one. It's three to one. So LA is probably gonna. They're probably gonna win this shit. And it's the same old fucking game. The only thing they put, it's like putting fucking lipstick on a pig. It's still a fucking pig. It's the same old fucking game. They're just changing up different things to make it look new. But you have the same old fucking problems. Welcome back. Has always been in the game. The pitch. Like, first of all, my guy should be a, at least a fucking 99 already. And it hits the fence. But instead, he's a friggin' 79. Like, all the training and all the shit you do. You know, being a, just a 79. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over... So there's a lot of issues in this game. That's why I, there's a lot of people don't play this friggin' game no more. Or they only play Diamond Dynasty. Um, oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's nobody. I haven't seen anyone that really play Rose to the show time. anymore. And the hype is all over, and everybody's not playing because it's the same old shit. A one down. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance feed. There's one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the fourth. Max Muncie at the dish. <sighs> I'm just waiting for Saints Row to come out. Saints Row. I'm not going to stop uploading baseball or playing baseball, but I think I'm going to play more Saints Row because I've been waiting on Saints Row to come out for a long time. And also, there's um, should be extra bases. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Oh, the Grand Theft Auto don't come out for another ten years. <laughs> so that's gonna fill in for Grand Theft Auto. Don't know when another Fallout is coming out. Because they went to Fallout 76, so I don't even know if they're going to make a regular Fallout anymore. Now 
That's Hunter Renfro. That's why I'm holding on to my fallout four. Now the one. Hit weakly on the ground. VR with the throw over to first. And Renfro is retired. Here's Rowdy Telez. Rowdy Telez. Come on, Rowdy. The one, two. In the air, left field. Pollock. Go back, Settles stupid. Go back. One. Too he close. To get hosed at home. Here's Luis Arias. <laughs> I don't know if Arias is bad like that. Leaning back. How does he see the ball? Two, two now. Right side. And leaning back like that. In plenty of time to first, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning, and now it's Gavin Lux. High fly ball out to center. Man, I got the Dodgers is a good team, but that's why shit. We're the better team. Down. The better team is supposed to, to win. Century mark, a hundred pitch. So one out, nobody on. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Richard O'Neill. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Yeah, he Ooh, swings and that's misses. That's a nasty slider. Wow, no fair Ooh. right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that hit. Got a hole in my bat. One down, base is empty. To the right side. On I was late first. on that one. Fine, playing the hole for the out. That dude is nasty. Well, this was a but we held on for the win. Now it's three to two. And they know they've been saying so that from the last one series one. that oh, it's gonna be a seven games. We're gonna go to seven games. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boo, but sometimes those can be the best. We had 11 hits and three, put up three two, runs. The score That's crazy. I feel like we're all witnesses to these memorable moments from this rising star and we know for the collective memories of a fan base postseason oh. that's where the lights shine brightest and where legends are written and icons are established oh my gosh the, the, listen I, I remember in 2006 in the, in the opening series I hit a ball in the well guys I'm gonna end the Johnson series here off Randy Johnson if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask if you choose to. But most important of all, be kind to each other and tell someone you love them. Have a wonderful night. Peace.